All right, welcome to the video Specialized. Let's do a specialized, up-to-date criticism, comments and criticisms from yours truly, who is one of my credentials, been a specialized customer since 1993 when I first bought a, uh, some specialized product. I think it was a pair of gloves or a seat or some um, gummer tires endorsed by Ned over in or a drink bottle cage. Been, been specialized customer since 1993 and still today ride a lot of specialized product. The bikes, though, the new bikes are junk. All right, let's get into it. Specialized has become, in my opinion, nothing more than a marketing company. Their new bikes are crap, and uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you a bit more about it. Anyway, let's just have a look at this uh, homepage here. So, marketing company, they, they, they go for emotions, they go for marketing. They say, look, this, you know, they've got this guy here. This guy here, would have they used this demographic a couple of years ago? No way in heck, all right? The virtue signaling many brands do these days makes me a little bit cringe, etc. It's just like you'd only put this demographic in your marketing because it's trending. And once it stops trending, you will stop using these types of demographics, okay? So if you need to virtue, virtue signal, then yeah, I'll see what you're about. Anyway, i got this guy here. He's wearing a t-shirt, but he's got the, the aero wheels, you know? Aero wheels whilst wearing a t-shirt. I know it's for the photo shoot, all right? But again, it's marketing, and that's okay, okay? You know, all, all about being inclusive and using way, way overpriced bikes. Hookless, hookless disc wheels. What more do we need to say on that one? The, the Tarmac, you know, Tarmac is one of my favorite lines of bikes ever. I still have a lot of, if you, if you said Harley, how many S-Works bikes do you own? I honestly couldn't tell you. Uh, that's, you know, that's how many bikes I own. And how many S-Works bikes I own, I don't know. I don't know how many S-Works bikes I own, okay? I've got a lot of bikes. And, um, yeah, but these new ones, I've had two of these S-Works SL7s, and they're junk. The first one was so crap, the second one didn't even get built up. I sold it. Sold it brand new before it was even built up. Nice color, though. SL7 S-Works Tarmac. I've probably done about 47 videos about my comments on that one. Absolute junk of a bike. Next up, we have the e-bike here. It's a whole new sport. Um, is e-bikes a sport? No, I'd say it's a whole new way of commuting, transport. Okay, it's not a sport, in my opinion. But I think e-bikes are great. Uh, what I don't like is how specialised the batteries are so expensive and they're so small and it's proprietary crap. But again, specialised is a big business into making as much money as possible. The Roubaix is crap now, you know. Let's, let's, let's click on the Roubaix. Let's do bike, bike, bike. The Roubaix is crap. 14,000 US dollars. <laughs> it's the heaviest Bay ever. Literally, out of the box, this S-Works Bay would be heavier and slower and harder to maintain than the first Bay, which came out, was it in 2006, the S-Works Bay around then? You know, hilarious, man. You know, like, 2006 model is lighter and faster and stiffer than this one. I've ridden both. This one's is junk. Junk. And, uh, you know, so there you go. That's the Roubaix. All disc brake. Heavy ass, man. So heavy and sluggish riding. The Athos almost gets it right, doesn't it? It's, you know, it's a, they've gone back in time. Literally, this is Specialized's best road bike, carbon bike at the moment. But it's still got disc brake, so it's, you know, it's a gravel bike. But, uh, <laughs> $14,000. And it's still heavier than some of my S-Works is, you know. <laughs> it's a joke, man. It's got 27 two posts and so does my SL1 S-Works. It's got BSA bottom bracket and so does my SL1 S-Works. It's, you know, it does have a proprietary fork, which so do a lot, most of my time I have. So it's, you know, but the, 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 these bikes are so heavy, man. The Athos is so heavy, you know. It's so heavy for the money. It's a joke. It's a joke, man. <laughs> if you want lightweight bike, don't buy an Athos. Just buy a second-hand near new Tarmac or Ruby off the person who upgraded to the Athos, and you'll have a lot better bike to ride, a lot better quality. Um, and they specialise, say, oh, the Athos is the best riding bike we have. Yeah, because it's the lightest of the disc brake clunkers you have. This one here, the Allay. The Allay. Whoa, man, look at this. This is, you know, disc brakes. Damn, 6,800 USD. Would This would ride like an absolute slug. 
This is the best bike specialized cell at the moment, overall. If, if I was offered uh, $100,000 a year by a specialized to ride their bikes, um, and they said, you could ride anything you want, Harley. We're gonna pay you 100 grand a year. You have to shill for us, okay? On your YouTube channel, which bike are you going to shill for us? Which bike are you going to ride? I oh, will get this bike here. The Specialized LA Elite. It's in my bike buyer's guide. I rate it, man. I rate it. Interesting color. Um, it's a great bike. Fantastic. Carbon fork, full carbon, steerer, 27.2, post, BSA. You know, you could... And just out of the box, man. Comes with some good parts. Got the SRAM, compact crank, you know, DT Swiss wheel set. It's, it's fine, man. This is a good bike. Those brakes may or, not, may or may not be okay. You could put some Shimano calipers on there. Um, SRAM Rival 22, it's good stuff. Yeah, so it's, it's got a 32 cassette. It's compact crank. It's a good, it's a good setup. The only thing I'd probably change in this bike would be maybe, I don't know, these brakes, they're okay. They're okay. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to upgrade this bike, just put you know a 105 caliper on the front, good to go. But these brakes are pretty good. You know, they're not like the bikes, the brakes track put on their bikes. <laughs> Absolute garbage. So yeah, that's that's the bike I would ride if Specialized paid me $100,000 a year as a sponsored rider and said, Harley, you can choose any bike you want. What do you want? You know, I'll be going Specialized LA Elite because I've ridden the rest, man. You know, I've ridden the LA clunker, the, the disc brake one, but I know it'd be slow and sloppy. Let's have a look at cross country. That's what we've got over here. The S-Works with the dodgy shock design, yay. <laughs> the Epic, I've been riding Epic since 2000, I got my first Epic in 2003, and uh, it was great. Man, the latest ones are shit, the, the shocks just blow so quick. They bounce around, there's no full lockout like it used to be. What bike would I, mountain bike would I ride? It's special, like, these tires are good. Fast track, incredible tire, my favorite front tire ever for cross country. If what bike would I ride if Specialized paid me 100 grand a year, mountain bike wise, boom, this is what I'd ride. The I'd probably change that, get rid of the brain shock. Anything Specialized proprietary is generally going to be a pain in the bum. All right, the brain used to be all right, and now it's just the fork's okay, but the rear suspension hard pass. This is what I'd ride the Epic, you know, hardtail. Don't have, to, don't have to worry about all the suspension fuck ups that are so common now on uh, Specialized. Epic hut, dual suspension. A bit of flashback to the Ned Overend red kit days. So yeah, that's, that's what I'd ride. One of these bad boys. But again, this is going to be as good. This is coming out of China. It's a Chinese carbon hardtail. And this would ride as good as any yeah, Chinese carbon hardtail on AliExpress, etc. It just wouldn't have the S-Works logo. But yeah, that's the, these wheels are nice as well though. The Revales, very, very nice wheel set. Um, so yeah. That's my comments and criticisms based on being a specialized customer since 1993 and currently owning so many S-Works bikes, I don't even know how many I own. So those people say, Joe Nardi, you're just a specialized hoder. You're just trying to get clout. One, I've already got clout. I've got over 400 million views on YouTube. And two, you know, I'm a cycling journalist and I give, I'm paid and trusted because I give my unbiased, honest opinion, okay? can't be bought I can't be sold out and I just I, I just because I enjoy telling people the truth about cycling and fitness and their goals you know if and I people told the truth to me about my cycling products and stuff what to get what not to get and I had a, I've had a, I've had a great cycling experience and I want to share the joy of cycling with others and when you have bikes that break down or they're heavier than they have to be or they're sluggish it just makes your cycling life suck more than it has to. Like cycling life can, is tough enough without without uh, you know having bike drums unnecessary. Okay, gravel enlightenment, the crux. This is uh, coming from. Uh, can I say it? No, I can't say. It. I'll say it anyway. This is coming from the same supplier where my gravel frame set comes from. Nice little frame set. And uh, rides pretty good. You know, basically an Athos with a little bit more carbon in it. Um, and a bit of tire clearance. But anyway, you saw what bikes they rode 
at the Gravel World Champs. They rode road bikes. <laughs> but who knows really what they're allowed to ride from Specialized. But what we did see is the win, the Belgian rider, Vimic, he rode a Canyon <laughs> road bike. <laughs> Didn't ride the uh, the Grail or whatever it was called. He rode a Canyon road bike. So that's, that's, that's something there. The Specialized Pathfinder. Zoom in here. This is a fantastic tyre. I love this tyre. It's fast on the road and it's good enough for light gravel application, but it's a fantastic tyre. So yeah, specialised tyres and specialised saddles are some of my uh, favourites out there. There you go there. Specialised Pathfinder tyre. I've used those. I rate them. Thanks for watching. Any comments, criticisms, let us down below. Specialised, the number one marketing company in cycling in 2022.